Chris Henry with the University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension and we're here at the Richard Baumert uh, farm. Richard recently put in a vegetative treatment system that is a sprinkler vegetative treatment system and we're going to talk about it today. What Richard has is a, a you have about 70 feeders and 50 cow-calf pairs and mm -hmm. about 500 head of pigs that are on open lot. Yes. About a two acre feed lot that drains, uh, that used to drain to the right to the creek behind us here, right? Yes, we had a, we had a problem with sediment from the yards ending up in the creek if, if it was an especially heavy, heavy rain. Um, we had a ditch running through the pasture that got to a point where we couldn't drive through anymore and we would fill it in, it would be gone right away. So we needed to do something different and this, this is been an ideal situation for us. And your son's coming back to the farm, you've done this kind of voluntarily because you're just concerned about your environmental risk. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, and it, did, it did solve you know, the big problem we have with the pasture. The pasture is going to end up being much more productive because of this, because we've eliminated kind of the whole area down here. Uh, where that was a big we, ditch before. Yeah, a big ditch, and we just couldn't do anything with it anymore. Yeah, great. So, so what happens is that we collected all the runoff in this small sediment basin, and we have a floating intake screen with a dry hydrant and a small Berkeley pump, uh, Amiod filter, a hand primer, and a 10 horse Kohler diesel. Uh, runoff goes through the pipeline, and we have an underground four inch pipeline, right, that mm -hmm. extends along the berm up to the top of the hill, or about middle of the hill back there. And we have two uh, eight pod lines. Yes. We use the K line system to distribute the runoff to our vegetative treatment area. The VTA is seeded to intermediate wheatgrass, sw uh, smooth brome, creeping foxtail, and orchard grass. Yes, and orchard grass. And what kind of yields are you seeing off the VTA, and uh, how often do you hay it? We've, I'm going to, this year I'm going to try, to try to hay it about three times. The orchard grass has a tendency to maybe get a little stemmy in the spring. I cut it sooner this spring, and then, uh, and then now I'm probably going to try to cut, the, cut it again next week, and then try to get a third cutting off of it. Last year, I suppose we off of about two and a half acres, we probably got about, I think it was 17 large round bales off of it. Wow, that's a lot. So, so it, it worked. So, you know, it, um, from a standpoint of taking some ground out of production to put into the vegetative, to put into the grass area for the vegetative treatment system, uh, it's been kind of a swap. We have less alfalfa and we can supplement the pasture with that. So, um, you know, last year, when corn was say 350, you know, you, you didn't think about the economic impact. Now that corn is twice that. People were asking me yesterday, you know, are you sorry you took it out of production? And I said, you know, at the time we built this, it, it was a toss up. You know, the value of what we were gonna get off of it was equal to what we were getting off of the crop ground. And I don't think this current situation is always gonna stay the way it is. So with the supplement that it gives to the cows and we take a, a little bit of land out of production for the for the alfalfa, and it's it's probably a trade-off. Can you fire it up for us? Sure. To show us how it works. So initially we prime it. You got the key. And then we'll back flush the filter. And we'll be Crank ready it. to go. So how do you like the system? How have you liked the system so far? Really? It's worked out really well. It's we've had a few minor little problems, maybe a little few technical problems with the pump, but other than that, it, it's worked very, very smoothly for us. You know, we've, uh, um, winterizing it is very easy. Maintenance, we've had very little maintenance on it. Um, the pods have been really trouble free. You know, they're easy to move around. You hook onto them with a four wheeler. So, so from a labor standpoint, it's, it's, been, it's been very easy. You know, you just watch it and, and it runs just fine for us. So Richard, we put a small diversion in and that, that brought us to about 2.3 acres of drainage area or feedlot area and about a three acre VTA mm -hmm. and you can also then apply some of that to uh, the cropland that's adjacent to the vegetative treatment area. I haven't had to yet but uh, but I probably will start doing that and, and it'll depend on how much rain we get. Total cost was about $19,000. 
$16,000 if you take out the extra fencing you did to accommodate the sediment basin, which came to about $59 a head or about $8,000 per feedlot acre. Mm -hmm. So overall, pretty economical system. Yes, very um, economical, and it you know it made uh, um, it made the cost of putting this in, I guess, fit in with our operation very well. All of the dirt work for this to to do the diversion and this berm took less than one day, which is actually a challenge because often it's hard to get a contractor to come in to do that kind of earth and that, work. And job. that was it's done so when there was small. about eight inches of frost in the ground, yeah, and he was right. still able to get that done in one day. So. Yeah. So I, would, I was surprised that, that they were done that quickly, but, and, and I've seen neighbors put in lagoons that they were working at that for five, six months. Great. So this, this was very, very easy to do. Well, thanks Richard for showing us your VegSafe treatment system. Well, thanks for designing a system that really works for me. Great.